Well, hello there, YouTube. I'm starting this project on this ninja, and the project is to change these slipping clutches. So, I've had these clutches here soaking 24 hours in this oil, and we're going to stick our butt in right there. Uh, I'm tired, so I hope I don't screw nothing up, but I figure... We better go ahead and get it done tonight than wait till the weekend where I'd be really tired. So here we go. And one more thing. YouTube says that I need to ask y'all to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So if you feel like it, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this video. So a little brief thing. Uh I'm not going to change all right now in this video. I'm just going to stick the clutches in right in there. But I got to take this fairing off here. Don't think I got to take that one. But uh, we're going to see what it takes to do it with. So hold on. And let's see, we're taking these little buggers out right here. And if I'm thinking right, I don't have to pull the top part off. I Pulled all that off last time. I think I just pop out those. Uh, you have a few quick rivets down there and take these off and yeah. rip her apart. That fine, so I gotta work on that one right there. That one right there. Somehow I stripped it out. I don't know why or how. So we'll get back with it. I don't want to. I don't want to go crazy on on YouTube. So, oops. All right. We got these pulled loose. So I have a couple. I think a couple of quick pop rivets right here, and then two on the bottom. Yeah. We will be able to get to, uh, we will be able to get to the clutch uh, cover right there. So, be back in a minute. Back and find that freaking. Okay, got the pop, quick pop out, quick rivets out. We pull the fairing off. I'll show you something. Dang, you wouldn't believe the freaking crap rocks and all that gets caught in these spoons there's a this friggin dang battle axe that's our team that's a catch every friggin little rock and sling it all over the place so i'm missing one quick rivet it ricocheted over there somewhere so screw it and i'm gonna have to dang do something but uh check out that i love that titanium alloy header beautiful check out that all right so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna get up underneath there take that little hickam and jew out that one right there we gotta loosen up that get the free up that hickam and jew there get another pan put all the dang little screws and crap in it then we'll nuts all the way around then we'll pull the cover off and we'll get to look at the uh clutch basket with the box uh heavy duty springs and top hats which this ain't got so much power. I already spoke the clutch where I put them on it. Tripped it, limped it along a little bit more. So, uh, um, hopefully with the new clutches. Go down. Bit. It won't slip them anymore. So, screw it. Here we go. Alright. I'm going to take loose the uh, end of the clutch cable take a 12 millimeter and loosen it up and uh, then I'm gonna take the bolt out from behind it that's a it's a um, friggin eight yeah eight millimeter is that on my shirt blank blank there it is Got loose 
loosen up a little bit. And uh, no, I don't even know if I'm gonna need to do that. So this little handy dandy thing that you got, if you see Pittsburgh, so that means it come from uh, Hover Freight. So it helps keep from losing the bolts, nuts. So I'm thinking this sucker here. So you got this, you can't see that crap. All right, so I got this loosened up, unbolted it. All right, now what I want to do is push this back through and get it through that, get that thing head through there if I can. I'm gonna take, it, uh, take the clutch cable out. There we go. All right, be careful about this your clutch arm. It, you know, it's kind of funny when you go to hook it back up. So, got that ringer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take all the, all these little rascals off right around through there. And the oil is below, so I got left it leaning. So they won't have to worry about the oil running out. And I'm not going to change the oil tonight. And I'm not going to put the fairings back on tonight. I'm going to get the clutch in. And uh, get her sealed back up. So we get back with you just here in a minute. Some people like to use them little impacts. Heck, there's only like 12 of these freaking screws or bolts in there. So uh, I got them all loose. And uh, there's no need to dig all that crap out. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Right. You're gonna have two different sides, short and long. Right, this one's got a little tab on it to uh, hold this overflow and that O2 sensor wire. Now, if this sucker leaks oil, I'm going to be off embarrassed. Which I found. Um, when I got the Brock clutch springs and top hats for it, uh, I didn't know it, but you could reuse the gasket. And uh, the factory gasket, you reuse it several times. So, yeah, I have it hanging on the wall. So, I have this little, this metal shim with a fiber on the outside of it, which uh, it's still good. So, I'm going to put it back on. This is a paper gasket, and it probably will tear. All right, so I got all the screws off that hold the cover. You want to double check and make sure pull your, um, you can't even see that. Thing. All right, you pull your, make sure your O2 sensor wires off to the side. And you don't want to ever drive a screwdriver in there to get it off. You can probably just tap on a little bit.
It's probably gonna tear it up that gasket, but screw it up. Put that old one, metal one back on. So, uh, and it's funny the way you gotta put this lever back in. So I just pulled it back. It's got a cup with a little thing in it, and it goes around your uh, clutch rod, and just like that. Yeah. So uh, last time I had to take this back off and put it back on a couple of times. So. Uh, uh, here we go. Yeah. The gasket looks okay, so I'm just going to put this one back on. And uh, right in there. You see that little slot that catches? And it pulls that. So uh, I'm going to put this on the workbench. Okay, there's the clutch basket, and uh, if you notice that one of your fibers is offset, the outside one's offset, and uh, so you got to remember to do that. So now we're going to take off all my, my rock springs and top hats here. All right, I'm going to start breaking them loose a little by little. Uh, there's a proper torque for this I think it's 8 pounds or so um, if you want to look it up look it up um, my torque wrench goes to 10 so I'm not going to torque it and uh, I have a lot of guys that race they just go and put uh They'll just uh, tighten it up. They've been doing it so long, they know about what to tighten it to, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so, we'll be pulling this out together. And I'm curious to see how much where this clutch is on. Usually once you smoke a clutch, it's pretty much done with. Uh, I smoked this one after I'd uh, done the modifications to it. The pipe, um, the tune, the pipe, the work on the intake, uh, the air filter, and it just got so much that it wouldn't hang with it. So. Uh, I'm gonna come back and get this these Brock's heavy duty springs and the top hats and it has a shim on it. I went ahead and put the shim on it too because I needed that much more force. This thing is really kicking out the power. And uh, that screw was a little bit tight getting out. So uh, I put them in the magnet tray. Tension left on it. This one here's got a little bit. That's right, like the ninja. I think uh, some of them just got four springs. I think the Zuki do. The Zuki Wookies do four or six or some crap like that. But the um, the ninja still got six springs. And just to be frank, it's been a couple of years since I changed clutches in a motorcycle. So we got all the springs in the pan and that right there. And let me get something to set this in. All right. Let's see what we can do here. See if I can screw it up or, or what the heck's going to happen. Oh yeah, she's she smoked a little bit there. Yeah, let's see how it's smoothed down. It turned all black. 
And that side, well, that side got some pressure paint. But uh, we got a little scorch in there. I might have to rough that up just a little bit. That little discoloration where it slipped, but still pretty good. Yeah, she's got some smoke to her. See that right there? I'm going to have to... I don't think it's warped up none, but uh, this might be a two-day job because I'm going to have to polish this smoked up friction plate. But, uh... All right, let's put, put these on the way they come out. Let's see, the slots still look pretty good. Alright, let's continue. I'll do my little screwdriver. Alright, remember the outside one is staggered one. So, uh, yeah, that's why she's slipping. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's right. If she wouldn't, she'd come up a little bit and slip so much, she'd get right back down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a, I'm gonna have to get my little screwdriver out. Looks like. Okay, look at that plate there. You say smoke that puppy. Look at that. I checked to make sure they wore it, but uh, they, uh, I think they're supposed to have little pits on them, but screw it. I'm going to buff them out. Um, so, let me get this. Uh, oh, shoot. So, uh, let me get my crap and get all these plates out. And it's got down in there somewhere it's going to have a little spring washer. So, I'm going to take care of all this crap. Yeah, see, we're still pulling the plates out in the friction disc. I mean, the fiber disc. So, yeah, still smoking like a son of a gun. Yeah, look at that. That's why the oil is black. They have a little numbers on them. I don't know if it means anything, but numbers are facing the engine. But, uh, yeah, shoot. I'd like to have it back together and break the clutches in before I go to the drag strip tomorrow, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna get as much done as I can, try to get the cover back on. But, nope, I won't have no scarred plates. Okay, there's a little beveled edge. Uh, spring washer and the bevel goes toward the outside the bow it's like this goes inside and there's another one in there too so um this goes toward the engine the cone toward the engine i don't know if you can tell it but uh so uh i got another one in there i gotta get it out but uh, yeah, get a tool. Oh. 
All right. Well, apparently, I had the thing off. So, uh, you got one plate and one fiber left. But I'm going to show you this. All right. It had the flat ones up against the, the friction plate, the inside friction plate, and uh, it fits in there tight. So the clutch ring, you see it go right through it, so it fits under there like that. But it's got the bevel, that part, this part, like that, like that, goes toward the engine. And it's got the little flat one first. So, uh, If I don't screw that up, but I'll show you this. Alright, All right, that's that last plate in there. Uh, and one clutch left, but look right there at that crap. All that black, that's clutch. So I gotta clean all that out. All right, I'm gonna cut this thing, put it on hold again. All right, I don't know how much more of this video is gonna be, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. That first fiber, it's burnt pretty bad there, but the inside didn't look that bad. So those numbers go toward the inside. And uh, so I'm gonna pull these plates out. I'm going to pull all the plates. The plates seem to be the same, and there's no particular way, but you can see where they got smoked a little bit. That one's really bad there. And I'm just going to scuff them up, clean them off, put the stuff back in. So, um, let's see. The rounded side goes in. I gotta remember that the rounded side goes in. Yeah. And uh this bevel goes that goes in there, it doesn't get on the friction plates. I mean it sits against the friction plates, but not on the clutch fiber. So I have that little cone. That little beveled edge fits in there and the clutch disc is going to be right there. So, uh, it's just like that. Toward the engine. So, let me get this crap cleaned up and I'll get back with you in a little bit. Alright, what I'm going to do now is uh, to cut the glaze off of the uh, clutch plates. Some people say you don't need to do it. I've always done it and I always had get good had good results. So uh, I got my 60 grit, I mean 80 grit piece of paper. I got it set on that rock flat surface. So I'm just gonna lightly. And uh, that's all it's gonna take. A few hot spots showing next time. I'm gonna replace these two, but for right now, it's gonna be okay. And this is uh, it's expensive. But it's got the sticky back, I mean the fabric back, so you just stick it to your pad, but works wonders. You don't want to get nothing really, really finer than that. 80 works good, so you get a good, get a little cross hatching, but that's all it's going to take. So there may be a part two video on this. So I'm wiping her off. But the first thing I did, I forgot about that, I cleaned it. 
brake cleaner. I <laughs> rinsed it off real good, wiped it down on these rags. So that's what it's gonna look like when I go back with her. Put them in the bucket. And I may come back on this video, I may not. We'll see how it is. It's at six o'clock, work ten hours, so we'll get back with you. Alright, here goes the messy part. Yeah, I'm messing this out of the way. So, uh, my airplane, but I had that tucked out in a freaking way. All right, time to put the fabric fibers in. We got one fiber and one plate, then we're gonna put the little rings, but you can't, yeah, them little rings right there. So, All right, we're gonna line them all up, except for the last one, it's gonna be turned. Slide that right, right there. All right, there's one, and dang, big freaking mosquitoes in here. All right, we got all the the glaze and the black crap cut off of this. So it's got a sharp edge and the rounded edge right there. That goes toward the engine. All right, these are packed in there tight. Now right, time to get these and put in there. All right, they get right up against. Uh, they get right up against that. Uh, that steel plate down there, the friction plate, and the uh, next fiber is gonna fit on top of it, over it. It's not gonna push up against it. It's gonna go up above it, which you need to check that, make sure it's like that. Uh, and the way it come out. The numbers, uh, it's got numbers on the back of it. On a little ears somewhere. But anyway, the numbers were on the inside. That's right here they are. So I'm gonna put the numbers on the inside. I'm still rolling. This is going to be over a half hour. It's coming up on 29 minutes. And uh, I'm going to show a little bit more of this one. Somehow it only will upload uh, 30 minutes on YouTube. But I have enough time to show you this. And then I'm going to start rolling part two. But you see how it's a little beveled edge in there. Uh, yeah, right there. That clutch fiber is sitting around it. You can see a little gap over here on this side. So, uh, there you go. See that little gap. So, I'm going to cut it off and start recording again on part two so that it won't be a screwed up uh, video. So, uh, all right, this is the end of part one.